I have two questions. Yes. Two questions. Do you want three? First of all, why Gemara called Gemara? Why there isn't the Gemara called Gemara? And that's one question. Yeah. And the other question is about Pesach. You have all kinds of different matzahs. You have matzahs coated with chocolate. You have uh, egg matzahs. Is it kosher to eat it? Is it reasonable to eat it? Okay, let's start with the first question. Why is Gemara, the Talmud, called Gemara? Because Talmud means Gemara in the Aramaic. The same thing as learning. Talmud means learning, limud. Gemara, Gemara means limud in Aramaic. So that's the main lead, learning of the Torah is the oral law. Because the Gemara that was explaining the written law, it was called Talmud, learning of the Torah. And in Aramaic, Gemara is, means learning. Okay, so the second question, which ties in with an online question that we got, is there seems to be all kinds of matzahs. There are regular matzahs, there are round matzahs, there are square matzahs, there are egg matzahs, there are chocolate covered matzahs, there are uh, onion garlic matzahs. What, what is that? onion garlic matzah? Onion matzahs, so yeah. we, they want to know what the difference is between the matzahs. So no, not on, on, place for onion garlic, I'm sorry. I don't know, maybe not. I've seen them in the... We can't mix anything with it. So uh, the answer is that, let's look at let, like this. There's two <coughs> laws pertaining to matzah. There's Shh. one law pertaining to matzah that you're not allowed to eat chametz. That means, chametz means flour mixed with water with a liquid standing for 18 minutes makes it chametz because the uh, bacteria uh, makes the uh, process of the chametz come about. The, uh, that's how it rises. How, that's friendly bacteria is what makes a, a bread rise. Then, and it's, uh, uh, what's the process called, no? Leavening. Fermentation, leavening. Fermentation is one thing. Fermentation is what uh, makes chametz, fermentation. So you're not allowed to eat chametz, fermented flour on Pesach. That's one thing. Another law is that besides not eating chametz, there's a mitzvah to eat matzah. And that mitzvah, especially the first night or two nights in Golos, we have to obligate him. A whole week, we don't have to eat matzah. We could just not eat chametz. It's okay, we don't have to eat matzah. But the first night of Pesach, the first two nights here in Golos, we, we, we are commanded to eat matzah. We have to eat matzah. That's a mitzvah, like putting on tzvillin for a man or... Uh, or um, keeping, uh, honoring our parents is a, a mitzvah, the same way to eat matzah the first two nights. Now, the uh, matzah that we have to eat is called lechem oini, poor bread. This is, lechem, this is the poor bread. Poor bread means just water and flour. That's called the poor matzah that we have to eat. To keep the mitzvah of matzah, we have to eat flour that was mixed with water. Any other liquid is no good. It's called matzah ashira, it's called rich matzah. Like poor man doesn't have enough money to buy apple juice, orange juice, anything to mix with the flour. He uses water. We have to eat the poor bread that our forefathers ate in Egypt. They didn't have any money then they were to make a, a matzah tasty with any fruit juices. They only used water. So in remembrance of what they ate then, that's what we have to eat the first night of Pesach. The rest of Pesach, as long as it's not chametz, it's okay. So if you mix the matzah with other juices, really according to the law, it's okay. Even you can't eat that for the matzah the first night of Pesach because it's called rich matzah. As long as it's not chametz, so we're allowed to eat it. The problem is that we don't eat matzah that's mixed with egg matzahs, for instance, even though it's really not chametz, but it could become chametz much faster by mixing in other types of liquids. Therefore, we keep away from it because it's easy to come chametz. We don't eat those type of matzah. Somebody who's not well and can't chew matzah, whatever, so we allow them to eat those matzahs, egg matzahs, or matzahs made with fruit juices, because really, according to the law, it's permitted. We just keep away from it in Pesach because we're afraid maybe it came chametz, it comes faster than with water. But somebody who can't eat the regular matzah, it's too hard and too difficult to, to digest, they're allowed to eat egg matzahs. Chocolate covered matzah is perfectly okay, as long not for the first night, of course, you have to eat plain matzah, but
But if it's regular matzah with flour and water, you just cover it with chocolate, that's okay. Because you can't eat it the first night. Okay, that's be matzah without nothing else. You have to eat it with some matzah. I hope it's been clear enough. Uh, to, okay, and the difference explain. between the round matzahs and the square matzahs? Well, the square online question. Matzah, it, without those machines, the machines make the, uh, the square matzahs. The hand matzahs are, are round because they're very hard to make uh, square matzahs by hand. By machine, you can make it easily square matzahs by machine. But uh, the round matzahs, are, when they roll out the dough, it comes out to be a round, and that's why you can't. Round. Well, shmura could be round, uh, 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 square too, if, you, if it's shmura. Shmura means, shmura matzah means watch. Shmura means watched. Regular matzah is watched from, from a later process. It's not watched from the time it's cut down. Shmura matzah, why it's so expensive? Because they have, watch it from the time it's on the field before it's cut down. They don't want the water to get on it. it has to be, even, even rain can make it. So you have to have people watching it from the time it's cut till the time it's baked. Therefore, it costs a lot of money to pay people to watch it all the time. That's why it's so expensive. Other matzahs are not only watched from the time that's ground, not from the time from the field. So therefore, it's not expensive. So shmura matzah we used by the seder, those matzahs that were watched from the very beginning, from the time it was on the field. Don't